Now we're just going to record this really quickly. Um, Cultural Revolution in the Red Guard. Famine occurred in China in the 1950s, 17 years after Mao's troops seized power. Mao saw his latest political campaign as a way of reinvigorating the communist revolution by strengthening ideology and weeding out opponents. Her objective is to struggle against and crush those, who, per, those persons in authority who are taking the capitalistic road so as to facilitate the consolidation and development of the socialist system, Mao once said. One early directive stated, basically Mao wanted power in a way to make sure he kept that of power. To do this, he needed to control his enemies and traditions that were not in line with creating his commun communistic society. The imperialistic and capitalist ideas were to be destroyed. This cultural revolution begun in 1966 and lasted for approximately 10 years. It was a failure. An absolutely freaking horrible one. Mao focused his efforts on the youth. He ingrained in them a sense of purging the old ideas and cultures out to create a communistic society. Old was bad. The little red book by Mao was basically the Bible of Satan. It can be summed up in one phrase. It is right to rebel. The four things they rebelled against were 1. Old culture. 2. Old habits. 3. Old customs. 4. Old ideas. The youth rebellion movement was called the Red Guard. Mao ordered his military to stand down and not interfere with what they did. Some things the youth of the Red Guard did consisted of cannibalism, violent beatings, ransacking of the rich, just to get their stuff by the way, burying people alive, torture, killing our feline friends because they represented the Burgundese life. They tore down signs, ransacked shops, persecuted people, destroyed cultural heritage, looked down on religion. They would beat and kill teachers. Basically, they were like an extremist religion, a cult of sorts, I guess you could say. Once things got out of hand, Mao allowed the military to come in to try to quelch rebellions. Farmers, soldiers, and the Red Guard were opposed by others and workers. When the military finally stepped in, the statistics seemed to point to that being the deadliest part of the Cultural Revolution. Mao rounded up the violent Red Guard and sent many of them to re-education camps which is just concentration camps. Mao also ordered the army to restore order, effectively transforming China into a military dictatorship, which lasted until about 1971. As the army fought to bring the situation under control, the death toll soared. The decade of political and social chaos had ended, but instead of furthering communist ideas, it had hurt them. Experts feel 500,000 to 2 million lives were lost during the Cultural Revolution. In fact, the Cultural Revolution crippled the economy, ruined millions of lives, and thrust China into 10 years of turmoil, bloodshed, hunger, and stagnation. An official party reckoning described it as a catastrophe which had caused the most severe setback and the heaviest losses suffered by the party, the country, and the people since the founding of the People's Republic in 1949. How did the Cultural Revolution affect China? Mao had hoped his revolutionary movement would turn China into a beacon of communism, but 50 years on, many people believe it had the opposite effect, paving the way for China's embrace of capitalism.